In this video, I want to focus in on this part of Bayes' rule, which is the likelihood. And importantly, I want to explain why we shouldn't think about the likelihood as being exactly the same as a probability, because importantly, it doesn't satisfy some of the necessary properties for a probability density. So let's focus in on this particular part of the Bayes' rule. And let's imagine that what we're doing now is we are assuming that theta is fixed and our choice of model m, and we're integrating this probability density over all potential values of the data, which I've just called sort of x here. And we can imagine x being a sort of vector of potential values of the data, or potential variables rather. Well, we know that because it is a probability density and because we're holding theta fixed, this actually integrates to one. So in this circumstance, we could think about this particular numerator or this part of the numerator as being a probability density. But note that this was because we assumed that theta was fixed and the thing that was varying is the data. That's not normally what we assume in Bayesian inference. Normally in Bayesian inference, we assume that the thing that varies is the parameter theta. So what we do is we define something which I'm calling here L of theta, which is assuming that the data is fixed and assuming that the choice of model is also fixed. And note here that by sort of redefining it with the sort of theta coming in first here, even though this is exactly the same for a potential, any particular value of data and any particular value of theta, there is a shift of focus here. And due to the shift of focus, that is why we shouldn't think about the probability, or the likelihood rather, as a probability. Because when we think about varying theta, there is now no requirement on the likelihood when I sort of integrate over all potential values of theta for this thing to integrate to one. Note that in the particular case where we define a likelihood whereby our likelihood as a function of theta, um, assuming that the data is fixed and that the model is fixed, assuming that this is not a function of theta and that theta exists from minus infinity all the way up to plus infinity. In this circumstance, if we were to integrate the likelihood function from minus infinity to plus infinity of our likelihood, whereby I am now not varying the data, but I'm varying theta, this integral here well, depends on the particular sign of f of theta, but it potentially can go to plus infinity, it can go to minus infinity. So notice that this L of theta here, because we're varying theta, now doesn't really have to satisfy the properties which we require of a probability density. Another reason to think about the likelihood as being different to a probability is due to this relationship which I've defined here. We can imagine that to Bayes' rule, it makes no difference whether I define likelihood as here or I define it as this probability times some function of the data in this circumstance. If I multiply the probability by some function of the data, so I do that to both the top here, f of data, and the bottom here, or in the bottom it doesn't matter because the f of data doesn't have any theta dependence, notice that I'm still going to get out the same posterior density because the top and the bottom here are just going to cancel with one another. So actually, in terms of inference, it makes no difference whether I define likelihood as being exactly equal to this probability or whether it's equal to this probability times some sort of theta independent factor, which I've called here f of data. So you can actually think about the likelihood as being the probability or the conditional probability times some constant factor or some factor which is theta independent. 